what we have done is uh, put this all on uh, public meeting and uh, just for the information of this honorable body, we have started bidding those projects and uh, the, the, I've attended the first two meetings and the meetings were done trans with full transparency and the bids have come about uh, close to 30% below our agency estimated costs. Very quickly, Mr. Chairman, we have a meeting on what kind of projects are these? Just very quickly. Uh, mostly these were flood control projects, Your Honor. In uh, some of them in Metro Manila? Uh, this is from Region 1 to Region 5. So maybe some of the projects that were uh, missing in the uh, uh, DPWS presentation may be found in the recent projects. Is that correct, uh, Mr. Secretary? That's, that's correct, Your Honor. Thank you. And finally, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, this is parochial to the House. Uh, the DPWH uh, implemented a very good road widening project uh, for Commonwealth Avenue. It was good, I think, uh, six lane uh, Commonwealth Avenue. But then, to the consternation of a lot of people, including this representation, the MMDA implemented a counter project uh, to eat up about two to three lanes of. Uh, the very expensive uh, widening project. Um, it, it is the reverse of what usually is done. You know, in, in other countries, normally the island narrows when you approach the U-turn. But in this particular case, the island widens when you approach the, the U-turn. What is the, and I understand that there was a lot of uh, spirited debate between the Public Works Department and the MMDA. But of course, the MMDA at that time uh, was able to uh, uh, enforce its will. May we know what is the plan of the Secretary uh, with respect to this uh, reverse uh, widening and reverse narrowing of uh, the Commonwealth Avenue? Because, you know, during peak periods, we encounter uh, a lot of bottlenecks there. Uh, Your Honor, both projects are actually MMTA projects. Uh, and uh, we are now in discussions with uh, the MMTA Chairman, their, uh, Chairman uh, Francis Tolentino, to really try to operate in terms of addressing the traffic and flood control for Metro Manila. Uh, because there are still, uh, well, right now, uh, for your information, Your Honor, flood control is the domain or it's the responsibility of MMDA for Metro Manila. But obviously, uh, some of these facilities were constructed by DPWH. Uh, and uh, really, the two agencies will have to work if we want to address the flood and traffic, traffic situation in Metro and uh, may I also add that perhaps it is only in this country where you can find uh, elevated uh, U-turn uh, uh, overpasses, <laughs> such as the one you see on uh, C5. Only here in the Philippines. Normally, they are uh, below ground. Is that something that you're also going to rationalize? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, this was very much uh, against the DPWH uh, desire, but uh, obviously, as you mentioned, uh, MMDA won the argument there and they constructed nonetheless the, the elevated u -turn. There were already plans for a uh, press uh, or great separation at least on the C5 and the Kalayaan Junction with full funding, but this was not accepted, and in fact, this was cancelled in favor of elevated new terms. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I would like to, uh, I'm expecting the Secretary to furnish me a copy of this 300-page uh, World Bank report on the anomalies. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, Congress. If I heard you right, uh, Mr. Secretary, you said you had a uh, Savings of 30% below the ABC in your uh, uh, bidding that you've done. Correct, Your Honor. I congratulate you for that, for the third point, because the uh, trend before for foreign assisted project, the awards would be 20% above the ABC. Uh, regarding the, the World Bank blacklisted uh, 
construction companies? Are they blacklisted only for World Bank projects from now on, or also for other projects of the uh, Your Honor, apparently it's only for the World Bank projects. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Congressman Gonzalez is next. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, Mr. Secretary, and as a public works. Ito po ang iyong uh, ipresenta ng institutional policy and reforms. Full transparency and accountability the people to harm corruption. Mr. Secretary, nung nakikita po sa inyo, within six years, mapapatapos po namin ang problema namin sa Pilipinas, lalo na sa ito. My concern is, Mr. Secretary, makikita niyo po sa budget niyo, Itong mga ahensyang primary in charge, Quitra. Number one, these 29,650 kilometers of road network. Number two, these 7,750 bridges measuring to 327,721 linear meters. Number three, some 41,665,000 linear meter of flat road facilities. Number four, 473,788 linear meters of dikes, sea walls, and others. Number five, 353,139 linear meters of river walls, shoe protection. Then, based on your source, the CPRD agency budget notes, nagtakalagay po dito, unang-una, you have the 4.5 billion, the flood control structures, along the following major basins and principal rivers, in the amount of 4.5 billion. That's my number one question. What are those major flood control systems? 4.5 billion, if you can identify it, all of us. I will not ask for my parochial concern, I will ask for the national concern. Number two, you have these protective life gradings, protection works, and seawalls of 3 billion, 